Body positioning is a critical but often neglected part of trials riding. If you've ridden dirt bikes a lot, there are a few things you might have to unlearn. Your default position is to ride with your legs bent and apart. Why? Having your legs bent means they will soak up bumps and also be ready to compress the suspension or de-weight the bike as required. It also lowers your centre of gravity, which gives you better balance. Keeping your legs apart means you have more chance of recovery if either wheel is deflected sideways. It also allows you to lean the bike more easily for turns or riding across a slope. On a dirt bike, your boots will tend to be firmly against the bike, but on a trials bike, you'll want about an inch between the actual bike and your boot. The centre of your boot soles will tend to be on the outside of the pegs. This allows you to lean the bike sideways easily. When cornering, put pressure on the inside peg and you will find the bike naturally wants to turn. Remember to keep your shoulders in line with the handlebars. See our Full Lock Turns video for more detail on turns. Constantly move your body position for best balance and traction. We've noticed the girls in our club seem to pick up on this intuitively. Possibly the boys have been overly influenced by dirt riding. They tend to grip the bike more with their legs and not change their body positioning as much. If traction is good, you simply lean forward when climbing hills or obstacles. You'll be surprised at just how far forward you can go to prevent the bike flipping. Simply lean back when descending. Again, if traction's good, it's surprising what you can descend if there's nothing between your butt and that rear tyre except your rear fender. However, this changes if traction is poor. Due to your low tyre pressures, your body positioning has a big impact on the contact surface or footprint your tyre has on the ground. Climbing a hill with poor traction often means keeping your weight more to the rear to enable a bigger footprint and therefore more grip. This does need to be carefully balanced with keeping the front wheel on the ground, or at least being able to manage any resulting wheelies. Likewise on a downhill with poor traction, there may be times you need to keep your weight slightly forward to get a bigger footprint from your front tyre, even if the rear wheel leaves the ground. These are counterintuitive moves to dirt riding skills, dirt bikes tend to behave differently due to higher tyre pressures and far heavier bikes. A handy tip is to bounce up and down on the bike just before entering a section or before tackling an obstacle or tricky bit of terrain. This should remind you to keep your legs bent, apart and ready to move your body around. While looking at body positioning, on a modern trials bike, you should easily be able to operate the clutch and front brake levers with just your index finger on each, and leave them there permanently when riding. When riding along a slope, weight the inside peg and lean the bike into the slope. This positions your body to the outside, so that if you do lose traction, you have a chance to recover without dabbing by adjusting your weight. Feel free to experiment with different body positions, although the stranger ones probably won't work all that well in our experience.